Hi everybody and welcome to another edition of Endless Golf. I'm your host Bobby Vermillion. Today we're in Ocean Isle Beach, North Carolina at the beautiful Ocean Ridge Plantation. In just a moment we'll be joined by Lauren Hunt to show us around the beautiful Leopards Chase Golf Course here at Ocean Ridge Plantation. So stay with us. Joining me here at Ocean Ridge Plantation in Ocean Isle, North Carolina is a former University of North Carolina, now an alumni, Lauren Hunt. Lauren, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We have a beautiful morning and a beautiful young lady to show us around. Four fine golf courses here at Ocean Ridge Plantation. I have to say, you know, first of all, how did you get involved and get such a great job? Well, I graduated from UNC. You know, four, I was there for four years and um, Ocean Ridge, I'm a, a native of Sunset Beach, North Carolina, Brunswick County. And um, Ocean Ridge has great golf courses. I'm looking somewhere to play and practice as I pursue my dream in professional golf. And luckily, fortunate enough, they believe in me and have given me the opportunity to come help you guys out. Well, Lauren, we're going to take a look now at the Leopards Chase Golf Course here at Ocean Ridge Plantation. And we'll start with a, a hole that you really love and really kind of sets the tone here at Ocean Ridge on the Leopards Chase Golf Course. And that is the par four number one. That's right, um, Bobby. Number one is a great starting hole. Um, you have to hit a demanding tee shot. You have bunkers on the right. You have water on the left. Um, it's not a long hole. It just requires accuracy off the tee. So it kind of sets the tone for I'm going to have to think about each shot today out here at Leopards Chase. Okay, then moving to a par three, number four. Number four. Number four is an island green um, uh, featured Tim Kate design. Is the coquina boulders around the front of the green. It's a carryover water. It's a great hole. It's not that lengthy. Um, still have to hit a shot into that hole. The wind usually comes off from left to right, so you have to make sure you have to play it off the water a little bit. But other than that, it's a great par three. And then moving to number five, a terrific par four as well. It is. Um, kind of right down the chute. Bunkers on the right, a little water on the left, wetland areas. Tim Cake likes to design his courses where you see a lot of um, natural environments um, within the golf hole. And number five provides you with, with both of that along with an island green surrounded by bunkers. Um, looks kind of flat up to the hole. You have to hit it a little, a little longer on the second approach shot, but um, it's a great hole. Well, you speak about a great hole. You can certainly say that about the par five number 17, the tee box we're standing on right now. You take a look in the background. It doesn't get much more dramatic than that. I mean, just a gorgeous golf hole. Ideally, you want to kind of clear those bunkers if you hit it far enough, Lauren. And I don't want you to outdrive me, which you probably will, yeah. but you've got the honors. Go ahead and hit a good shot. All right, thank you. Good swing. Dead center. Here you go. Hit mine. Yeah. <laughs> Good shot. Thanks. Tell you what, it's just a gorgeous golf hole. All right, just follow there your lead, is. Lauren. Yeah, I know. We'll take it. <laughs> well, Lauren, you can't get much closer than this. I mean, we drove it drove to about, what, three yards apart. So That's right. absolutely perfect. Dead center of the fairway, which for me doesn't happen very often. For you, it's kind of the norm. But I tell you this, an intimidating second shot. Obviously, the water on the right not in play. Our target line, the flag, flag stick probably? A little right of the flag. You're, we're both going to hit three woods here. Um, it's going to be a layup shot. You're going to be faced with probably around 100 yards to the green for your third shot. Um, what I like about this hole is it also has a Tim Kate feature design of his coquina boulders with the water here on the right. Luckily for us, they don't come into play <laughs> for us, so that's good. All right, we'll knock it back in the fairway All and right. uh, see if we can't get a, sneak a birdie on this hole. Good swing. That's perfect. Right where we talked about. 
Well, Lauren, you're making it look awful easy. Your first shot's dead center. Your second shot right in the middle. Uh, tell you what, I've got a little heat on me right now, but a fairly large target to shoot at. So see if I just can't knock it and uh, keep it in the fairway. Put myself in position here. It's right at you. We'll follow each other around. <laughs> Bobby, I have about 97 yards to the flag stick from here. Um, wind's in our face a little bit, which is key for the last two holes to out here at Leopard's Chase. Normally, especially in the late afternoon, early morning, the wind's gonna be blowing in our face. So I'm gonna try to hit a little knockdown wedge for us. Hit it close, Lauren. Good looking shot. Be right. Good shot. I like it to do. <laughs> Great shot. Thanks. Well, Lauren, I think there's a theme going on today, and uh, it basically is if I can hit it at your ball, I'm going to find a flag stick. So you've, your ball has not left a flag stick <laughs> yet today. I've got about uh, 70 yards again, Lauren, the wind in my face, so let's see if I can't get it close. Somewhere around your ball. Ah, it's a little short. Okay. We'll take it. Not bad. Well, Lauren, it looks like you're a little closer, so I'm away. You can go ahead and take it out for me. Okay. Both ended up on the fringe. See if I can't sneak this in on you. Throw it in there. Oh. Tell you what. Good try. That thing rolled nice. I'll go ahead and finish that. Okay. You got it right below the hole, right straight up the hill. All right, good five. Thank you. I'll tell you, the greens are rolling perfect. Let her in. From tee to green, it never <laughs> left the flag stick. <laughs> great putt. Thank what you. What a great four. I tell you what, you've been a gracious hostess, showed me around this fabulous golf course, had a chance to play number 17. I got to watch you make a birdie. It was a pleasure playing with you. And the good news is we get to play another great golf hole, the finishing hole number 18 here at Leopards Chase. Let's go do it. Let's do it.